Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I'm going to show you how to use the art history brush, or at least one technique that um, you can use with the art history brush. Now, the art hist history brush gives you the ability to create some painted effects using information from snapshots or history states. So, what that means is that you can paint on another layer and bring out another um, type or, or bring out some of the information of another uh, history state or snapshot. Now this is gonna use the um, history panel. So let's start out from the beginning and let's just pick an image to open up that um, possibly doesn't have like a whole lot of detail in it but um, has some detail like maybe a person just maybe a just like a headshot or something like that okay now you want to make sure that you have your art history or your art I mean your history panel open and that's this panel up here remember this is CS6 so this is where gonna the history panel is gonna be if you can't find it go up to window and then go to history and click that and it'll show up for you now what we need to do is make some changes to the document so that we can like start start um, using the art history brush so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer and it's just gonna be a transparent layer and it's gonna be on top of the background layer the next thing that we're gonna do we're just gonna grab the paint bucket let's uh, make sure the background is white and we're just gonna fill in that uh, transparent layer with white now you can see that the layer over top is just a white paint bucket, bucketed layer, I guess. So we've got in our history panel, we've got the, our things that we've done. We opened up the picture, we created a new layer, and we have the paint bucket. If I go to new layer, it's going to show me the what was on during that step. And then you, as you can see, the layers panel is changing when I go to a new step in the history. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start working with our art history brush. So come over here to um, our tools panel and click on this icon. It could be the history brush tool or the art history brush tool, but we want to select the art history brush tool. So make sure you have that selected and it has like the little swirly thing around the paintbrush. The next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we have the layer that we want to use selected. And this time I'm going to use the snapshot up here that comes when you have Photoshop. Uh, when Photoshop opens, it takes the snapshot. If you don't have a snapshot already, go to your very first um, history where you have your picture that you opened. So click on open and then um, take a snapshot of that using this and then use the snapshot as your history, art history brush reference. So just make sure that this has the brush icon next to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the history brush here and we're going to start painting. And you can paint by moving your brush around or you can just click and hold. So what I'm going to do is just going to click and hold and you can see what's going on here. And you're like, huh, what the heck is that? Now, if you have your brush at a small size, then it's going to put, pick up more detail. If you have it at a bigger size, then it's going to pick up some bigger detail. So by using your left or right bracket on your mouse, or if you right click, you can uh, adjust the size of your brush. Now you probably want to have some kind of brush that's one of the basic brushes. So just a circle with something. So you can see that my brush is just, it's just probably this brush right here. So. Um, what I'm going to do is start drawing again. So you can see what's going on here. Now you can see that there's not a lot of detail in this brush here. It's just a bunch of blobs pretty much. So I'm going to lower my brush eyes down a little bit and start drawing again. Now it's picking up information from the background. You can see that not a lot again is going on and we just need to address our brush size down even more so let's go down to pretty pretty low like maybe eight there and i'm going to start drawing here 
and then you can see that we're getting more detail here in our brush and you can start making out that it's an actual person that's back on here now it looks like we're starting to get like a mosaic -y painted effect on our image so you want to pretty much experiment with this brush and see if you can get some really nice effects I'm gonna go down to the smallest that I can get which is one pixel and I'm gonna start drawing again on here and we'll see how much detail we start getting I'm just clicking and holding to paint now you can see how much detail is coming out in this this is a pretty cool brush um, you want to you get the most detail out of the smaller brush sizes so here we go now it's starting to look like the original picture that I create or that we had in the beginning so if I turn this layer off this is what we had this is what we have now so you can mess around with the brush size to get some different effects now not only the brush size creates the effects for you we've got a whole panel up here at the top that has a bunch of different stuff so we've got our blending modes we've got our opacity um, this button right here is the pressure for opacity button now if you hold your mouse over top of it if I'm gonna just hold my mouse over top of it it'll tell you what it is always use pressure for opacity and that's when you have like a pen tablet so if you have a tablet while you're using a pen if you push down more you get more or less opacity when you hold it off a little bit then you get less opacity then we've got our style here and this is one of the bigger um, uh, effects that define how your image is going to look so if we come down we've got a list here I'll come down to loose curl and then I'll maybe make my brush size a little bigger and then you can see here what it's doing so we've got a, like a little curl kind of looks like little Cheetos I guess bring my brush size down even more and we got this kind of curl going on um, we got a tight curl which is even tighter as you can see hopefully you can see this you should be able to I mean you can definitely tell that it's like a curl and then something like loose long or it's just like a loose line that's just long and then when you use less of an amount it comes out more or a, a, a smaller brush size it comes out more in more detail and you can use these effects to your advantage to make some cool looking things so that's um, it for the art history brush use it like this um, this is just one way to use it there's probably a whole bunch of other methods that you can use to um, make this brush cool um, experiment with using different types of brushes like this so his eyes were all like messed up his mouth is kind of messed up so let's bring that in there a little bit and then you can use like the different styles to make different um, things in your brush or different types of looks with your brush so thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to check out buckysroom.org to check out all the other Photoshop tutorials that I've uh, made so far. We're going to put them all on that website. And any other kind of tutorials that we may have made are going to also be on that website. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.